Aspiration Aspiration refers to the act of withdrawing the air, body fluid, tissue, or other substance through a needle. Puncture aspiration of hydrocele, tunica vaginalis, with or without injection of medication. After injecting a small area with local anesthetic, the physician inserts a needle on an aspirating syringe into the fluid-filled hydrocele sac and withdraws the fluid into the syringe. After the aspiration and with the needle still in place, the sac may be injected with sclerosing medication to prevent accumulation of new fluid by stimulating scarring and hardening of the empty sac. Aspiration and slash or injection of ganglion cyst, S, any location. Aspiration and injection for treatment of bone cyst. A fluid sample may be withdrawn from the cyst or a medicinal substance may be injected for therapy. The needle is withdrawn and pressure is applied to stop any bleeding. Percutaneous aspiration, spinal cord cyst or syrinx. An X-ray verifies placement of the needle. A spinal needle is inserted once the cyst or syrinx is located. The contents of the cyst are aspirated and the needle is removed. The wound is dressed. Catheter aspiration, nasotracheal. Tracheobronchial with fiberscope bedside. The physician aspirates sputum from the lungs using a nasal tracheal catheter. The physician passes a suction catheter through the nose into the trachea. Saline may be used to liquefy secretions. The secretions are removed with suction and the catheter is removed. Report 31725 if a tracheobronchial approach with fiberscope is used at bedside. Gastric intubation and aspiration, S, therapeutic, necessitating physician's skill, e.g., for gastrointestinal hemorrhage, including lavage if performed. The physician inserts a leaven tube or other gastric lavage tube through the nose or mouth. The tube passes through the esophagus into the stomach. The stomach contents are removed by suction. The inside of the stomach may be rinsed with a saline solution. Gastric intubation and aspiration, diagnostic, single specimen, e.g., acid analysis. Collection of multiple fractional specimens with gastric stimulation, single or double lumen tube, gastric secretory study, e.g., histamine, insulin, pentagastrin, calcium, secretin, includes drug administration. If the intubation and aspiration are performed for diagnostic purposes, such as acid analysis, of a single specimen, report 43754. Multiple specimens are collected via gastric stimulation, gastric secretory study. The physician inserts a tube through the patient's nose or mouth and down into the stomach. Gastric contents are suctioned out for collection. Insulin or another gastric secretion stimulant such as histamine, pentagastrin, calcium, or secretin, is given to the patient. Blood glucose is monitored while continued collection of gastric contents is done. Following sample collection, gastric contents undergo volume, pH, acid concentration, and volume measurements. Duodenal intubation and aspiration Diagnostic, includes image guidance, 
single specimen, e.g., bile study for crystals or afferent loop culture. Collection of multiple fractional specimens with pancreatic or gallbladder stimulation, single or double lumen tube, includes drug administration. The physician performs diagnostic intubation and aspiration of the first portion of the small intestine, duodenum, using image guidance. A tube is inserted orally or nasally and positioned in the duodenum. In one method, the physician advances a double lumen introducer tube containing an inflatable balloon through the esophagus. Upon reaching the stomach, the introducer tube is turned so that the balloon is positioned toward the greater curvature. As the physician inflates the balloon, it expands and conforms to the shape of the stomach. Once inflated, the distal end of the introducer tube abuts the pylorus. The physician inserts a duodenal catheter through the introducer tube into the duodenum. Following appropriate placement, the balloon is deflated and the introducer tube is removed, leaving the distal tip of the duodenal catheter within the duodenum. Aspiration of bladder, by needle, by trocar or intracatheter, with insertion of suprapubic catheter. The physician inserts a needle, trocar, or intracatheter, a suprapubic catheter through the skin into the bladder to withdraw urine. Percutaneous aspiration within the nucleus pulposus, intervertebral disc, or paravertebral tissue for diagnostic purposes. CT or fluoroscopic guidance verifies placement of the needle. A spinal needle is inserted. The contents of the targeted location are aspirated, and the needle is removed. The wound is dressed. Aspiration or release of vitreous, subretinal, or choroidal fluid, pars plana approach, posterior sclerotomy. The physician inserts a needle into the posterior chamber through the pars plana to aspirate vitreous. Sometimes a posterior sclerotomy is made to release the fluid. When this is done, the physician extracts the vitreous, using a mechanical cutting and suctioning process that may involve a roto extractor or vitreous infusion suction cutter, VIX. Once completed, the incision is repaired with sutures. Fine needle aspiration of orbital contents. With the aid of fluoroscope or X-ray, the physician directs the needle toward the targeted area and aspirates a small amount. No incision is made and no repair is required. Thoracentesis, needle, or catheter aspiration of the pleural space, without imaging guidance. With imaging guidance, the physician removes fluid and slash or air from the chest cavity by puncturing through the space between the ribs with a hollow needle, cannula, and entering the chest cavity. The fluid, blood or pus, is removed from the chest cavity by pulling back on the plunger of the syringe attached to the cannula. Puncture aspiration of abscess, hematoma, bulla, or cyst. Physician cleanses the overlying skin and introduces a large bore needle on a syringe into the fluid space. The fluid is aspirated into the syringe, decompressing the fluid space. A pressure dressing may be placed over the site. Puncture aspiration of cyst of breast. Each additional cyst. The physician punctures with a syringe needle the skin of the breast overlying a cyst. The needle is inserted into the cyst and fluid is evacuated into the syringe, thus reducing the size of the cyst. The physician withdraws the needle and applies pressure to the puncture wound to stop the bleeding. Report 19001 for aspiration of each additional cyst of the breast. Bone marrow. Aspiration only. 
Bone marrow samples are usually taken from the pelvic bone or sternum. A local anesthetic is injected and the physician inserts a needle, beneath the skin and rotates it until the needle penetrates the cortex. At least half a teaspoon of marrow is sucked out of the bone by a syringe attached to the needle. If more marrow is needed, the needle is repositioned slightly, a new syringe is attached, and a second sample is taken.